Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick Gray from Fandroid, and today I am doing a camera test with the all new OnePlus Nord, which I'm using to record right now. Everything that you see in this video is gonna be recorded with this device, so keep an eye on the bottom of the screen to see which camera is being used for the photos and videos that you see. Now, OnePlus claims this mid-range device could go head-to-head -head with some flagship tier devices, and that's because it's using the same Sony sensor as the OnePlus 8 for its main camera. It also has an ultra-wide camera, macro camera, and depth sensor on the back of the phone. And then for its front-facing cameras, it actually has two of them, a standard and an ultra-wide, similar to Google's Pixel 3 device, which honestly, I really love. And I'm using that to record right now. As you can see, I'm gonna move a little bit further out. And this is really what you can get with holding the phone in your hand, which is pretty amazing. I can stick my arm all the way out here and it's still in the shot. So with all of those details out of the way, let's jump into some camera samples from this device to see how it shoots in a variety of different lighting scenarios. And again, keep an eye on the bottom of the screen to see which camera is being used. One of the things that's nice about this camera too is that it does pretty good with dynamic range for the front facing camera 
except when you're in conditions like this with a sunset behind me. You can see here if I tap on the lower end of the screen, you can see the background a little bit better with the clouds. It's absolutely beautiful out here, but then again, it adjusts automatically so that my face is uh, better in focus and also for the color and contrast for my face while blowing out the background. Honestly, if they could add just one more stop of dynamic range and keep it right there, it'd be perfect. Even recording video with the front facing camera in a low light situation, this device actually does a really good job. But I'm gonna switch over to the wide angle lens to give you an idea of what that looked like as well. And here we go, a look at the wide angle lens as well. And as you can see, it pulls in a lot of light, much better than what I would act, was actually expecting from this. Now, the question is, why can't you switch on the fly between the two? Who knows, but at least you do have that wide angle lens which honestly, I really love.
And that's going to do it for this camera test with the all-new OnePlus Nord. Let me know what you think of the results in the comments below and whether or not you think it's worthy of a $500 device. We're going to have a better in-depth look at the camera quality when doing our full review, so make sure you stay subscribed to the channel for that. And also, we're going to be doing quite a few camera comparisons versus other mid-range devices that are in the same price category, but also flagship devices, since OnePlus claims this has a flagship tier camera. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.